With the ongoing pandemic, it has put a halt to a lot of events right here in the River City. But for the first time tonight, Mosh's cosmic concerts are returning once again. But there are some safety precautions and changes you need to keep in mind. So joining us via Zoom to talk more about this, director of the Brian Gooding Planetarium, Eddie Whistler. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> so first off, let's talk about some of the safety precautions that are being put in place. What can people expect when they visit? Well, we have to wear masks because that's a good way to stop things before they even exit your body, whether you're symptomatic or asymptomatic. Of course, if you're symptomatic, you probably are to stay home. Um, but we're not open now. And since there's lots of people, I'll take off my uh, my persona that I call Space Space, and I'll let you see who I am. <laughs> um, and a couple of other things are that, uh, you know, in the planetarium specifically, and throughout the museum, we set everything up so that um, we're socially distanced in, in terms of our seating. And of course, we're cleaning things like maniacs here. <laughs> um, you know, uh, we just have our air handler inside of the the planetarium is a rather big place, but we can cycle through the air in that room um, about once every 25 minutes when we have everything kicked 100 percent on. So, and, um, so and, yeah, so people should feel pretty safe if they're going. So talk to me more about the events that are going on, especially this cosmic concert that's happening tonight. So cosmic concerts are something that we do on a that we used to do on a regular basis. We've been out for a couple of months. Um, but, uh, you know, they're laser shows set to music, set to lights, set to concert sound inside of our full dome. And, um, tonight we have, uh, we have four, we have one at seven, eight, nine, and 10. Um, and we do them on the first Friday of every month. So, you know, September, there'll be another four, but you know, tonight we have four different shows. You can check them out online to see what they are. Well, they're called iPop. Their electro lays hypnotica, and then we always finish with the Pink Floyd because why not? <laughs> oh, so if somebody wants to go or attend, where can they go? Um, well, you can buy your tickets ahead of time online, that's always best. Um, but then we are also uh taking we're also ticketing at the door if you just wanted to come. Uh, but you want to make sure that you get there a couple a couple minutes beforehand because you have to park, you have to walk up, you got to buy your tickets, you got to do all of these things, uh, and you don't want to miss when that door opens and you're able to and you're able to go in. So. And it's pretty reasonable prices: ten dollars for non-members, five dollars for members for a fun, safe, socially distanced night out. Absolutely. And, you know, coming up on the 21st is my catharsis. It's our uh, it's our programming that we do called Planetarium Night Live. We do that one every other month because it takes a lot of work to put it on, but it's a live. Um, we use the planetarium for all that it's worth, and we like to cover different subjects than we do on a day to day basis. So, you know, you can check us out for that. Look at this awesome place. You want to spend <laughs> No. It, I love the dinosaur peeking out in the background. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Bye-bye.